is Darwin matches worth it? Guys, we are the fastest EA Sports FIFA Elite player SBC analysis that hits the market within 15 minutes of it going live. So that's what we're doing here, guys. Is Darwin matches worth it? Four star, four star, La Liga links. His links are iffy, um, and there's a lot of left mid La Liga players. There's a lot of left mid players out there. So in that aspect, for a starting player, I'm not 100% sure that I would use him as a starter. But he does have in some incredible players traits for subs or on player starts. The speed dribbler and the technical dribbler, you're going to notice that. And the long shot taker is fantastic. And so here's the thing. His pace is there. His dribbling's there. His shooting is good enough. The, the volleys, I would really wish the volleys were up because that could be clinical in a late stage game. You want that at least to be up to like 75 or 80, but that is okay. Positioning is decent enough. Finishing is decent enough. The shot power is great. Long shots are great. The passing is decent enough. Physicality is decent enough, but the dribbling is superb. So me telling you guys, should you do this card? Is he worth it? As a super sub, he could be. As a starter, I wouldn't necessarily say it. He, it's just, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. There's too many options out there, unless you're wanting a Venezuelan link, but there's too many other options out there. But is he worth it as a super sub? He's coming in at 83 and an 84 overall. Now, the thing about this is that this is going to cost you probably around 150,000 coins right now for just a decent super sub when there's a ton of them out there. So it could or could not be worth it. But if he gets an upgrade, then this one this one goes up quite a bit because those that dribbling stats, the shooting stats, everything is going to boost. He's going to be as fast as Mbappe in the game. He's going to be one of the fastest players in the game. And so... If you're saying, is he worth it for 150,000 coins? I would wait until the birthday drops, the uh, division rewards drops, the, the market saturation gets into the market. So the players are prices will drop that uh, that SBC fodder will come down quite a bit. So if you can get this close to 100K, he could be worth it. Uh, me personally, will I finish this card? I probably will not fill this one out just because I have and so many Vasa cards, but that is my player and elite SBC player analysis. If you don't have a super sub, this one could be worth it. We'll see you guys next time on the channel. All right. And guys, if you guys need help with trading coins, follow us. Check out the other channel.